This is the Vivitar 550FD flash gun. This was released in about 2011 and this particular model is dedicated uh, to Nikon cameras and the, the points on the hot shoe here match up the corresponding points on the Nikon hot shoe. Any adult of independent flash, if you grew up in the 70s or perhaps 80s, there were two manufacturers that stood out. The first one was Metz, uh, and they were famous for their big hammerhead flashes. They were very expensive. Uh, Vivitar were a, a more entry level uh, machine, and I suppose the classic uh, was the Vivitar 283 light machine. And this is somewhat similar to that particular. Uh, flash gun although probably not as good. It has a head which you can change position which is really useful if you want to bounce the flash gun off of uh, a ceiling uh, and it has a sensor on the front. Now the sensor measures the reflected light back from the object and it cuts the light out when the flash gun thinks that the camera has had sufficient light to expose the, well, in this case, film, uh, but the sensor for a more advanced digital camera. I don't actually have the instruction booklet for this, so I can't tell you from the instruction booklet uh, what the guide number or the power of the flash gun is, but I can work that out. <coughs> if I turn the flash gun over and make sure that this slide is down on manual, if I set the ISO to 100, which I've already done, then all I need to do is look at the meters and the f-stop, and you'll see that at 12 meters it's recommending f2. 12 times 2 is 24. So in uh, meters for an ISO 100 film or sensor, this is a guide number of 24, which means that it will reach with an f2 lens about 12 meters. This camera, as you can tell from the front of it, has what is known as a thyristor circuit. Now, thyristor circuit is an energy saving device in an automatic flash gun. When an auto flash cuts off the power just at the time that the camera thinks it had enough exposure, what this does is it can either dump the uh, power and waste it, or in the case of a thyristor circuit, it will recycle it. That means that uh, if you don't need very much power, then the recycling time of your flash gun is substantially reduced. And I'm going to try that on the Nikon and see how that looks. So, if I attach the flash gun to the hot shoe, tighten it up so it doesn't fall off, make sure that the camera is switched on, Choose the flash sync speed, which is 60. Okay. So I turn the flash gun on, and when the flash gun has sufficient charge, this amber light will light up, which it just has done. And then if I fire the flash gun, you'd imagine that that would come up really fast. Now it hasn't because I haven't set the flash gun onto automatic. So if I choose one of the two automatic se uh, sections on it, A2 is for uh, three to 20 meters, A1 is for six to 40 meters. So let's assume I'm doing a portrait at three meters and try again. Now hopefully this will recharge much faster. I get a green light here to say that automatic exposure is okay, but the amber light didn't go out. So let's just try it. Oh, 
Right, so what was that? A dozen shots? So on this particular flash gun, because it's dedicated to nickel, I say I've got fully manual here. I've got three to 20 meters automatic. I've got six to 14 meters automatic. I'm saying meters, I mean feet. And here I've got a dedicated setting if I have an Nikon FG20 or an EM. It's warning me now that I may not be using the right camera. So let's move it back down to minimum setting and fine. So I set the ISO, I set this uh, auto feature to roughly the distance I'm looking for. I charge the camera up uh, until I get an amber light and I'm good to go. The only other thing that I need to worry about and it's not something I need to worry about for this camera is this manual setting. If I prefer to use a camera in manual then this will tell me the different f-stops I need for different distances. You might be able to see it says TTL here so if this camera had TTL metering through the lens flash metering then I did need to put it onto this setting and the flash gun will uh, work without me changing anything else. So, the Vivitar 550FD Auto Firester flash gun 2011-2015 guide number 24 with ISO 100 film nice little machine not terribly sophisticated uh, I'm dubious about using it on a digital camera uh, because sometimes the power output through the hot shoe is too great but other than that it's quite a nice little machine and it certainly fits this camera and suits this Nikon F301 camera very well.